Hey everyone, how are you today? Hopefully good. Oh my god, it was so warm today. Oh, you know what? I can't wait for fall. I hope fall gets here really quick. I know the people who like summer out there is probably going to hate on me right now, but I don't like summer. <laughs> it's too warm. Anyways, I'm here to do July's tarot reading. So I already shuffled the cards and I'm just going to lay them out. Just going to do three cards for the beginning, middle, and end of the month. And I'll do an oracle card too. Alright, for the first part of the month, it's... Ooh, five of wands. Yeah. Well, let's see. The beginning of July, it's going to start off with maybe an unexpected obstacle. That's going to be, you know in our, our way, I should say. Maybe a little relationship problems in the beginning, you know? So it kind of starts off with a rocky start, which, you know, we all have to go through it. <laughs> and it's also... How can I explain it? It's more like a struggle and a regret. For the beginning of the month, maybe we we're struggling through something and we don't know how we're going to get past it and we have little regrets too. So keep in mind that doesn't always last. So it's only for the beginning of the month. We will get through it because we always do. So just be aware a little struggle and a little regret in the beginning of the month. All right, for the middle of the month. Knight of Swords. Look at that Knight of Swords. Well, for the middle of the month, <laughs> Knights to me is always someone who is, you know, like Knight in Shining Armor and, you know, someone who's there to help us out and everything. And Swords is always cutting through the heart of the matter to me. It just like just cuts right through all the bullshit and everything. So even though for the beginning of the month we're going to be struggling and everything, towards the middle of the month we're going to just cut through that bullshit. You know, try to, you know, not be so regretful, not, you know, not to try to struggle and everything. We're just going to like, you know, get to the heart of matter get to the heart of the matter of things, I should say, if I can actually spit it out. Bear with me, guys. It's It's been a long, hot, gruesome day today. But yeah, we're just going to cut through all that bullshit and everything from the beginning of the month, and we're just going to get on with our lives and do what we have to do. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. And towards the end of the month, ooh, two of cups. It ends on a good note. I like this Two of Cups. It's really nice. Well, Two of Cups, as you know, is new relationships. Uh, it's like a beginning of a relationship and everything. Oh, wait. Two of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like losing it all the world. But yeah, it's like a beginning of a relationship and new friendships, you know, it's like starting new, starting fresh, you know, learning about things, learning about each other and, you know, sometimes we need that. And as you can tell, she's actually, you know, tending to her plant and everything as you would tend to relationship and stuff like that, you know. Start from scratch, water, you know. Do the things you have to do to tend to your relationships and everything. So yeah, that's for the end of the month. Alright, I'm going to pull a oracle. See what the oracle has to say this month. It's actually not really a bad month. I mean, yeah, we kind of have some obstacles to get through in the beginning of the month and you know but 
in the middle of the month, we cut through the heart of the matter. We try to cut all that bullshit out and do the things that we have to do. And then at the end of the month, you know, two of cups. New relationships, new friendships, and all that. So, yeah. Alright. And the oracle has to say, new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. So if you're not moving or anything, I'm going to read this and then we're going to talk about it. Because it doesn't always have to be about moving. It could be tending to new things and everything. Let's see if I can find it first. Alright, here it is. The fairies are so attuned to the Earth's heartbeat that they can detect changes far before we are aware of them. This card comes to you because the fairies foresee you moving to a new location with positive results. If you ask for their assistance, the fairies can help with this change, including letting go of your present home, releasing finance, financial worries, and finding a wonderful new place. And with that said, it also has a relationship change, heralds a move, healing is occurring within your home, consider a career helping others with new homes such as feng shui, mural paintings, landscaping, or house sitting. And also take steps to move such as contacting a real estate agent if you actually are moving. But like I said, it doesn't always have to be just about moving and everything. It could be like tending to new relationships, you know. Kind of sort of like that. So yeah, it wasn't really a bad month. It was actually, you know, got some things to get through and everything. But you know, we do it in the, in the end. So I hope you liked this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell if you want notifications from me if you subscribe. And I hope your day wasn't as hot as mine because I'm, I'm not lying. It was scorching out today and I can't wait for fall. I was never a summer person and yeah, I'm kind of ranting right now. <laughs> I'm ready for fall. I just don't want to, I don't know. I don't like the heat. All right, guys. I'll talk to you probably, let's see, Tuesday for the tower scopes. All right, guys. Mwah. Keep smiling. Bye.